Hello, everyone. Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Janice Marie. On each edition of our show, you have the opportunity to meet some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll find out what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, and what they're doing to change our world and to change the way we do business. It is a fact that the relationship between humans and their pets here in this country has always been rather special and unique, because for so many people, the pets have almost been like an additional member of their family. And when that pet passes on, they have wanted to do something really meaningful to help memorialize that pet. And for well over 100 years now, many people have been coming here. This is the Hartsdale Pet Cemetery in Hartsdale, New York. It has an extraordinary story and a very rich history. And to learn about it, we sat down for a conversation with the facility's director, Ed Martin. <music> The Hartsdale Pet Cemetery started in 1896. It's, it's the first one ever in this country, and we're right now with the oldest operating one in the world. And you know, as you look around here, this, this is a big cemetery. How much, how much land is here? A little bigger than uh, five acres of land, of which about uh, almost an acre is unused now. Considering the size and the age, do you have any idea of how many pets have been buried here? Sure, I can only guess, of course, but it's a pretty sophisticated guess. So my guess is about 75,000 animals have been buried here. You know, as the manager and the owner of this facility for so many years, you certainly would be in a position to know. What do you think it is that really brings people here? The love of their animal. Uh, they, the, the folks who come here, uh, and I'm one of them. I came here before I <laughs> came here in the position I'm in. Uh, uh, think, think of their pets uh, as part of their family uh, and as a good friend. What about the kinds of pets that are buried here? Well, by our charter, uh, we are authorized to bury or cremate uh, any animal that someone says is their pet. Uh, now, by and far, the vast majority of pets that come here for burial or cremation are dogs and cats. However, uh, there are uh, some more unusual animals that are buried here. You talked about turtles. Tell me about the lady who buried her turtles here and what she told you. This woman uh, came into the cemetery, told us that she wanted to bury a turtle and uh, explained why. She said, uh, I hope you don't think that I'm doing something bizarre here, but uh, where I live, co-op does not allow dogs and cats, and I feel I've always had animals all my life with me, and I feel I want something. So uh, I have these turtles. I keep them in my bathtub. Uh, they're good friends of mine, and damn it, I'm not throwing them out when they die. I'm bringing them here and I'm burying them. <laughs> and what about the cost? Obviously, that's something that would be of concern to most people considering burying pets here. How expensive is it? The cost depends uh, for burial. Uh, on a number of things. One would be the size of the pet, uh, the other would be the location of the plot, uh, and a third factor would be the casket that they bury in. So uh, we have uh, different prices for different areas of the cemetery. So if one were to bury a small pet uh, in our new section, which is the least expensive area, uh, and use the least expensive casket, it would be just about a thousand dollars to do that. Now they could pick an area in a different section and use an oak casket or a metal casket uh, and it could get up to two thousand dollars or twenty five hundred and if they wanted to buy a monument which is strictly optional they could buy a monument for five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or perhaps two thousand dollars for the monument we try to provide something for everything just as in a human situation one can have a rather simple casket or a more elaborate one now cremation is strictly on weight uh, cremation would depend on the weight of the pet. So for a small animal, uh, uh, for someone who wanted to cremate a pet and take the pet's cremated remains home with them, it's about $200. For a larger pet, about $250. You know, as I look around at all of these various tombstones that go back so many years, there is a huge mausoleum here. That must have a, a most unusual story. That mausoleum was put up in 1917. A woman who uh, lived fairly locally, Mrs. Walsh, she had buried here. The, the story is that she, she kind of fell in love with this place 
and she wanted to erect something really, in her opinion, very significant uh, uh, for her pets. As you can see from this uh, cemetery, there are no roads. And to put a mausoleum up of that size was extremely difficult. And uh, according to going back in the records, it, it was in excess of $25,000 then to do it. Uh, and the story was that Mrs. Waltz came here every day and made sure that those workmen uh, did their job and uh, did, uh, completed it on time and in budget and, and so forth. And after it was completed, she had her pets taken out of the uh, ground, uh, reinterred in the vault, and that vault is sealed permanently with specific instructions. Never, ever open it for any reason whatsoever. Some 70 to 75,000 pets buried here. What about people? Are there any people buried here? Yes, there are, but now I have to be very careful because the lawyers are very specific on this, uh, that there are, uh, you can only have a human buried here after they are cremated. Because in New York State, uh, cremation is considered final disposition, and although it doesn't sound very nice, the legalese is that you are no longer human after you're cremated. You are cremated remains. So uh, some folks choose to have their bodies cremated and buried in their pet's grave. Now, we would not do this unless somebody has purchased the plot for a pet. We're not a human cemetery, but as an accommodation to those folks who want to do this, uh, we do accommodate them uh, uh, once they've been cremated. It's a very inexpensive thing to do. and. Uh, it's done rather infrequently, maybe five or ten times a year. Is there any truth to the myth that pet burials are really only for the wealthy? No, there's not. There's not a, a, a bit of truth. Now, uh, we do have some wealthy people who bury here, but certainly they're not the only ones. You know, in the past and in other parts of the country, there have been news stories about crematoriums that have been cheating clients, so to speak. Has that ever been an issue that, that has been of concern here? The most common concern they have or question that I'm asked and the staff is asked is, how do I know that I'm getting my own pet's cremains back? How do I know that? And the answer that I give them, the simplest answer is, you can come here uh, and you can witness basically the entire process. You can see your pet enter the crematory if you wish. You can stay on the cemetery grounds next to the crematory and you can be present when the pet's cremated remains are removed from the crematory and put into whatever receptacle that you choose to have. About 10 years ago, I was president of the New York State Veterinary Medical Society and there were great, great concerns at the time in pet cremation services around the state and around the country. And at that time, I made it my business to go around and visit places that provided cremation services. And it was clear to me that uh, Hartsdale Pet Cemetery was a place apart. What would you say are some of the most unique monuments here? Is the War Dog Memorial. Uh, it's the centerpiece of the cemetery. It was erected in 1923 uh, to honor the services uh, of the dogs that uh, served in World War I. Over the years, last couple of years, I had read up on Hartsdale, and quite recently, a coworker of mine let me see the uh, Mr. Johnson's apple orchard, and it, it it's led me to believe that Hartsdale is, you know, one of the it's the first oldest uh, cemetery for a pet cemetery for dogs, and based on Mr. Uh, Johnson's benevolent, I guess, you know, giving to the community, I figured that that's what I wanted to do, put him in the right place, and that's why I chose Hartsdale. I know you offer a rather unique service for people who do want to take care and honor their pets but really can't afford it. What do you do for them? There are many folks who uh, uh, cannot afford the, the $200 or $250 for cremation, much less the $1,000 for burial, and they choose communal cremation. Uh, and cr cr communal cremation is simply pets are cremated along with other pet animals. And uh, what we choose to do is to take a, a small portion of the cremated remains of those animals that have been communally cremated. We scatter them in what we call the scatter garden. Uh, and we think of that and we advise folks to think of that as their plot at the pet cemetery. You know, when it's all over and people have buried their pets, gone through the process, 
What kind of reaction do you get from your clients? Most people uh, thank us. They don't thank me. They thank the people who started this cemetery uh, for having such a place. Uh, and I'll, uh, briefly, uh, and I've gone through this process, uh, some folks are afraid, not afraid, they're, they're hesitant to tell folks that they feel bad because they've lost their dog or their cat. And when they come here, that disappears. I feel good being what I've seen around here and how um, the affection and the care that they give to the, you know, the animals, it makes me feel really good that I chose Hartsdale. There was no question in my mind that after patients died, they were going to receive the same respect uh, afterwards as they received throughout their lives. And do you find that people come back and visit their pets often once they buried them here? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It is not unusual uh, for folks to come once a week. Now, that's not everybody, but uh, and it's like uh, human cemeteries where uh, most of the visits will take place in the first year. It may fall off the second year. They may get another pet. They may move. But uh, remember that everybody who buries here does so because they wanted to. So they're, they're, they're very apt to come back. The heartwarming story of a very compassionate facility, the Hartsdale Pet Cemetery, now almost 110 years old and secure in the knowledge that it will be here for the next 110 years to come. I'm Doug Llewellyn reporting from Hartsdale, New York. Well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.